Hey guys, and welcome to video number five in my makeup collection series. Today is all about the lips. I'm gonna show you my lip liners, I'm gonna show you my bullet lipsticks, I'm gonna show you my liquid lipsticks, and I'm gonna show you my lip glosses. I have some of them sitting right over there on a shelf. My lip liners are behind me, but I'm just gonna show you everything that I have in relation to lip products. If you are just now tuning in, this is a six part series. We are working, working my way through my makeup collection. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you are subscribed. These videos are going up once a week. And if you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam, but why don't we go ahead and start talking about some lip products. Okay, so here are my lipsticks and then liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. I got these clear like lipstick holders off of Amazon years ago. This is an old Bath and Body Works candle that I depotted. So what I'm gonna do is work through the lipsticks and work over to the, the liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. I'll swatch everything for you. Hopefully the lighting's okay. My wall is an off-white color, so I tried to pull the brightness up so that you can see everything. But let's go ahead and start with the lipsticks that I have in the back here. I have some toward the back because I call them like my collector's edition. I don't really use them anymore. I probably won't swatch those just because they're older, but let's go ahead and jump in. So these first two are Tom Ford lipsticks. They were both gifted to me years and years ago. One is in the shade Indian Rose. That was gifted to me by uh, my husband, I believe. And then the other one is Pussycat. That was given to me by my best friend Smegs. So here is the Pussycat shade. You can see it's like a mauve -y color. I <laughs> rubbed off the TF, the Tom Ford. But you can see there's like some discoloration. There's a little bit of bubbling here. I've had this for a while, but these are really expensive. So although I'm not using this anymore, definitely keeping it. This one is Indian Rose, which is the one that my husband got me. Again, the TF has been rubbed off on it. This one doesn't look like it's in as much of rough shape as the other one, if that made any sense at all. But I've still had this for years and years, so I keep it more for collector's purposes. Then I have two by YSL. I have the number 10 and the number nine. So the number 10, this one is the one that I've definitely had the longest. Samantha Ravendahl raved about the number 10 years ago. Like, I probably had this longer than I've had my YouTube channel. It's just a very, very light pink. You can see I have used it. The YSL logo is still there. I liked this formula. I felt like it was very creamy. It wasn't super long lasting, but I got this more so just because Samantha Ravendahl raved about it. It was super duper light, but I'm going to keep it because I do like the shade and the packaging. And then this one I keep, I could probably still wear this one. This one is in the shade number nine. I keep this one because my husband and I got it when we went to Venice. We went to Venice back in, was it 2018 or 2017? It might have been 2017 because I think I got pregnant in 2018. So in 2017 we went and uh, while we were in one of the shops I wanted to pick up a lipstick and this is the lipstick that I got. You may recognize these two Joseph colors. This was the collaboration between Desi and Katie. One is missing a sticker but we have a mauve story and then this one was the orange shade. I don't remember what year these came out, maybe 2017 also. I loved a mauve story. It was like the beautiful, like my perfect mauve shade. And then this one, was it Hot Fire? It was that bright orange shade in Hot Fire. Again, these are really old. Liquid lipsticks can go bad kind of quickly, so I, I don't wear these anymore, but I keep them because I love Desi and Katie. This next one, to be fair, I'm not really quite sure why I keep it, yet I do. There's beautiful sparkly packaging. This is the McIzzle collab between MAC and Mariah Carey. I did use this. I felt like it was a similar shade to their traditional shade Cream Cup, if you're familiar with that. It has a pretty butterfly in the middle. I don't wear it anymore because it is really old, and like I said, I mean, I'm not like a huge Mariah Carey fan. I mean, I know who she is and everything, but I just, I guess maybe I keep this because of the sparkly packaging and the butterfly embossing, but yeah. 
I guess I'll still hold on to it. Okay, now we're working our way through the containers and hopefully I stay in focus while I'm doing swatches and everything, but uh, my autofocus doesn't work. So this is in that organizer right behind me. This is just a Fenty lip gloss. It's in the shade Baby Brute. I don't really know that you'll be able to see much here. Let me make sure I'm in focus. It's just kind of like a clear gloss. It has a little bit of like a peach shade to it. Um, I'm not a huge gloss fan. I think this gloss is fine. I know people love the Fenty lip glosses, so I mean, I'm holding on to it. I just, I, I don't reach for it, but I don't think it's bad. Then I have a little lipstick by Melt. I think you can see the name right there. This is not my favorite formula. I think the, the packaging is cute. I think the embossing is super cute, but I do find this to be, I don't even know if you can see it when I'm swatching it. It's a little bit of like a... I don't know, like a harder formula. I guess it's supposed to be matte, but it's very drying on the lips. I love the color. I love the shade. I mean, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it because I do really enjoy the shade, but the formula is not my favorite. Then we have this one by Juvia's Place. It's in hashtag 2020. I am into mauves. You'll see. I definitely, definitely have a type. Now, I do really like this shade for some reason. I don't reach for it very often. You can see it's very similar shade to the, the melt just a little bit deeper. I, I just forget about this lipstick sometimes, but it is a pretty shade. Then we have two that are new to my collection. Sorry, the lighting, you can see they're super bright because they're white. These are my two Natasha Denona lipsticks. I actually haven't even swatched these yet. This one is in the shade. I need a nude, which looks like a pretty nude shade right here. We will go ahead and swatch it my first time swatching these. You can see that is just a very pretty nude shade. Okay, so they're both I Need a Nude. This one is in the shade Noah, which is more cooler toned. Also, don't mind my nails, okay? I need to get them done. Cut me some slack, just had a baby, but that one is in Noah, which is a cooler toned shade. This one right here is in Beatrice. These are super similar, so let's see. Let's see just how different they are. Okay, there we go. They're different when they're swatched. So Noah is a little bit deeper and a little bit cooler. Beatrice is a little bit lighter and more of a traditional nude shade. I do have two MAC lipsticks. I used to have a ton more. These are the two that I have in my collection. One is in Blankety and one is in Modesty. I've swatched them on Instagram, but I'll go ahead and swatch them here. This one, I believe, is Modesty. Modesty is a cream sheen formula. One of my favorite shades, like I said, you can see I have a type. And then this one right here is Blankety. If you are into a pinky nude, you will definitely like that one. You can see they're they're very similar, <laughs> so you don't really need them both, but you know, I like them both. I do have one Pat McGrath lipstick. This was her collection with Bridgerton, and this one is in Nude Romantique 2. I like the packaging. It's super cute with the little bow. I actually saw my friend Heather Austin do a video with all of the lipsticks and she swatched them and everything and I thought this shade would be perfect for me to add to my collection. This one is also fairly new. It's the Rare Beauty lipstick. I picked up the shade Worthy. This packaging is super cute. You just pop it up like that. I really do like this formula. I think it's a good one. This one is a little bit more on the nude side than some of my others, which are mauves, but it's more of a matte formula. And then I also have a little Forget the Filler lip gloss by Lawless. This one is just a clear shade. I can swatch it for you, but probably won't see much of anything here. It's literally, literally just, just a clear gloss. Clean slate, moving on to the next row. This is my Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade Velvet Muse. This one, it's a great formula. It's a nice matte lipstick. You can see the detail is beautiful. I just don't reach for this as much because it's super dark, but it does feel really comfortable on the lips and it is a beautiful shade. I just, I really need to reach for it more. Then I have three Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The small one I believe is Pillow Talk. One of these is very Victoria. The other one is the Kim KW nude shade. Okay, so this little baby mini here is in Pillow Talk 2 which is the medium shade. I've actually never even swatched it, but it looks very similar to that Lisa Eldridge color. This one right here is in Very Victoria. I waited a while to get this one, but I absolutely love it. I love the shade, I love the formula. 
It's very, very comfortable to wear. And then I have Kim KW, which is more of a nude, and I really like to wear this one under a deeper lip liner because it is a very, very light, like peachy nude shade, but it looks beautiful with a darker lip liner. I do have four BK Beauty lipsticks. I do have a whole video on their lipsticks and lip liners that I can link in the cards if you're interested. I did give one of the shades to Smags for her to try, but we'll go ahead and swatch them. This one right here is the deepest of the shades and it is in Passion. There's the swatch right there. This one right here is in the shade Kindness, right there. This one is the shade Acceptance. And I'm pretty sure this one is my favorite. It's Inner Beauty. Sadly, I don't think Tarte makes these anymore. This was part of their Rainforest of the Sea collection. I always wanted Rum Punch and I never got it, but I did get Beach Babe. And Beach Babe is a really nice nude shade. This is another one where I like to put it on top of a deeper lip liner just because it is a really light nude. I used to have more of these Prop of Beauty lipsticks. My daughter... <laughs> Sadly, crushed a couple because they are a super soft formula, and then I did declutter a couple. I did keep the shade Finesse. It's like a beautiful nude shade. These are great if you have like a deeper skin tone and you're having a hard time finding a deeper nude. Prapa is a black-owned beauty brand. You can see there is Finesse right there. This Tom Ford lipstick I wanted for so long. If you love, if you love a pinky nude, this one is in the shade Blush Nude. Smags put me on this one and like I said I wanted it for so long but they discontinued it and then brought it back so there it is right there. This is my only makeup by Mario lipstick. This is in the shade Brielle if you are new here. That's my daughter's name. She is three. I had to get this because of her but I do love this shade as well. There it is right there. I do find this formula to be a little bit more on the drying side though. If you're into a red, I have this Give Beauty in the shade Original Recipe. I do like this shade. I think that it is a good formula. It's a beautiful matte. I have only worn this one time, but there is the swatch right there. My favorite red in my collection though is this one by Givenchy. I got this in Influencer years ago. It's shade 35. This is their velvet formula. It has a texture similar to the Lisa Aldridge where it is a matte, but I feel like it is a comfortable matte. And this one is almost like a brick red shade. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. You can see the Give Beauty one is more of a raspberry red and this one is more of like a brick red. I have this Urban Decay lipstick. It is a matte lipstick in the shade Back Talk. I think Back Talk was like one of their popular shades. We're like running out of arm here. It's just more of a cooler toned nude shade. Similar to these, uh, I think these are my MAC ones that I swatched up here. No, these are, these are BK Beauty, actually. So similar to these BK Beauty shades, this one is just more of a matte, and BK Beauty is a little bit more glossy. The last lipstick is one of my favorite nudes by Dominique Cosmetics in the shade Pretty Natural. I have used the, the heck out of this one here. I just love it. It's a beautiful light nude shade. Okay, so I pulled my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses out of this container. I'm just gonna leave that down here. We'll swatch them and I'll put them back in before putting them over there. First I have this Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. This is a lip treatment. I have the Banana Kiss. It's a yellow shade. I don't use this as a lip gloss, although I'm sure you could. It is like a lip balm. So what I do is I just kind of put this on. You can't even can't even see. It's just clear with a little bit of a yellow hue, but I put this on while I'm doing my makeup and I let it soak into my lips and then I'll kind of wipe it off before putting a lipstick on. Moving into some lip glosses. This one is by Ofra. It was in their collaboration with Samantha March in the shade Millie. It's just like a pretty, like an opalescent sparkly shade. So you can see it right there. Well, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> It's just like a shiny, it has like little specks of glitter, but it's just pretty much like a clear, sparkly lip gloss shade. I really like this one. Another Ofra lip gloss, this was in collaboration with Hot Mess Mama MD. This is in the shade Truffle. I actually have not even swatched or used this one yet because it is new to my collection. But you can see it right there. It still kind of shears out, but it's more of a like coppery shade, again with some specks of glitter it looks like. Then we have this lip gloss by Lunar Beauty. It's in the shade Moon. This is a nudie gloss. I really do 
enjoy this one. This one has a little bit of pigment to it, so you could put this one just like on top of a lip liner, but it also goes well on top of lipsticks as well. Speaking of Lunar Beauty, this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Perfection. I love this liquid lipstick. I can say it's easy, easily probably my favorite. The only problem is this is a new one because I got one like maybe a year ago and I feel like it went bad really quickly. I wore it all the time, so I don't know if it was just me taking the lipstick applicator in and out. I really do love this shade and it dries down and wears nicely, but it did go bad quickly on me. But I mean, I purchased another one. A liquid lipstick that's probably gone bad, but I'm gonna keep it is this Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bare by Kylie Cosmetics. I love this shade. She first came out with it when she did her like I need a nude set or send me some nudes or something. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned shade than Perfection, but very similar. And I really, really liked this shade. It does have a little bit of transfer because it's her velvet formula. It doesn't dry down completely, but it dries down mostly. And like I said, this one probably isn't good anymore, but I still really like this shade. Another one by Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Malibu right? Yes, Malibu. This was when she reformulated, and I loved the original Malibu. This one, not so much. The original Malibu had like a purple undertone. This Malibu is straight nude, so it was, it was pretty disappointing because I loved the old Malibu, and I wanted to repurchase it after they reformulated, but like I said, the shade is different. This Ofra liquid lipstick also went with the Hot Mess Mama MD collab, and it was L-O-M-L, not really sure what that stands for, but I do like the Ofra liquid lipstick formula. And like I said, I have a type here. So you can see it's just like a pretty, pretty mauve shade. I have this one by Makeup by Mario and it's the Muted Mauve. I actually haven't worn this one. I don't even think I've swatched it either. So I'll be interested to see what the swatch looks like. Okay, are we surprised? It is. A mauve shade. This is my Huda Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Wifey. This was a gift for my birthday from a friend. Again, she knows me so well because this is going to be <laughs> another nudie mauve. In all honesty, this Patrick Ta shade in She's Unapologetic is probably not good anymore. I've had it for a while, but I love it. This is a beautiful, like, light pink shade. But it does have a tingling sensation. This one does not dry down completely. It gives you more of like a satin finish. And like I said, it does have a little bit of like a cooling sensation. So if you're not a fan of that, you probably won't like it. But I love this shade. I just smelled it and it does smell a little off. So probably not the best to put on my lips. But I'm not going to throw it away yet. I have this Butter Gloss by NYX. This is the cinnamon roll shade that everybody was talking about. I used to love the Butter Glosses and I had a ton. But like I said, everybody on YouTube was talking about this cinnamon roll shade. And honestly, I have to say, I don't know if this is the new one or the old one. But... I don't get the hype with this shade. I have two by Dose of Colors. This one is in Stone, and this one right here is in Truffle. Here is the shade Stone. It is like a deeper mauve shade. I love the Dose of Colors formula, and I love this shade. Truffle, if I'm remembering correctly, is a little bit more of a pinkier shade. I don't remember Truffle being this orange. I've had Truffle before, so I don't know if they changed the shade color or if I'm just not remembering it correctly. But I remember Truffle to be more of like a pinky shade, but either way, here's Truffle. This is one of the ColourPop Fresh Kiss shades. This is in BB Spice, maybe Baby Spice. This is a lip cream formula. So I actually haven't used this yet, and I was trying to twist off the top, and it just like literally, literally broke off. Okay, well there's that. Here we go. That's what the doe foot looks like. And there's the swatch right up my alley. Then I have one of the ColourPop Lux Velvets in It's a Banger, and there is the swatch of It's a Banger right there. Last but not least, I have my Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Lady Balls. This was a repurchase for me. I had it years ago. I've always gotten compliments when I wore this one, and I do really like the formula. It's just like a true red shade. So last up are lip liners. I didn't know if I was going to go through my lip liner collection, but I thought I would go through it really quickly with you guys. I have two by Jaclyn Cosmetics in Caramel Latte and Chai Tea. I did have some of her liquid lipsticks and I didn't like the formula, so I decluttered them, but the lip liners are okay. This one right here is in Caramel Latte. 
I probably need to sharpen it because this actually feels pretty rough and I don't remember it feeling that rough. And this one right here is in chai tea. This one feels a little bit creamier so I probably just need to sharpen that one. Okay, so this one is ColourPop's Cool BFF and honestly, I should probably get rid of this one because it's on the older end but they don't make this shade anymore and I really like this shade because it's a cool toned shade and I don't have a ton like that so I'm gonna keep it but I need to sharpen it. I used to have two Charlotte Tilbury shades. I finished up Pillow Talk completely. This one is the iconic nude shade. This is probably my most worn lip liner. I used to have MAC Whirl and I used that a ton. I would like to repurchase it. This one is MAC Strip Down. I also would like MAC Stone as well but this is Strip Down and it's just like a brown nude shade. I have this one from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade So Rare. This is a great shade if you want to put it underneath like a lighter nude. I like to kind of line my lips with that and fill it in a little bit and I'll put a nude on top. Then I have three BK Beauty lip liners. I did give a lip liner to Smags when I gave her a lipstick. I gave her Sweet Pea, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Now I'm like trying to, no, I have Sweet Pea. I don't remember which one I gave her, but I gave her a pinky one. This one is Sweet Pea right here. This one is the one that I use the most and it actually broke a little bit. I think because of the Texas heat, it's a very soft formula and that's really sad, but here we go. I'm gonna try not to lose some more. This one wants to fall out too. I probably just need to repurchase this. I'll put this back in here. I'm gonna have to repurchase it because it's falling apart, but this one is my favorite. It's the one I wore the most and it's in the shade Warm Spice, so let me just go ahead and swatch it there for you. That was another one that was good to put um, underneath nude lips. And then we have the red shade, which is Alter Ego. This looks nice underneath their Passion lipstick. There it is, right there. And there you have my lip collection. Hopefully I stayed in focus again. I'm sorry I had to turn my autofocus off because it just goes in and out and makes a lot of noise, but I did want to show you swatches. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any of these lipsticks and you love them, let us know down below. Now that you have seen that I have a type, if you have any suggestions, I'm open to taking that as well. But go ahead and stay tuned because we still have yet another collection video coming up where I'm going to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're into this, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.